Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, and I decided to do something different. It is a review, but it does involve, you guessed it, the Peanuts game, which includes Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Woodstock, Sally, Linus and Lucy, Schroeder, Marcy, Pepper and Patty, Franklin, and Violet, and all the rest of the game. But did you know that they actually had a TV series? Back in the 80s? That's right. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show, which premiered on September 17, 1983, and lasted until October 12, 1985, on CBS uh, Saturday morning. This is their first attempt to air a Saturday morning uh, series, hoping that this will do well, so that way they can focus more on the comic strips and put it together as episodes and segments. That's right. From Charles M. Schultz, with the help of the rest of the team, which includes Bill Melendez, as well as the composers uh, Ed Bogus and Desiree Goyer, and all the rest. Because with all of the peanut specials that we had, you know, ever since 1965, they figured, you know, why not? Turn this into a TV series, but sadly um, that didn't pull through. It had lower ratings, but they tend to to boost the uh, viewership by actually moving uh, time slot after time slot uh, on the Saturday morning block, which they did. But it didn't help much, and they had to put it on hiatus for a while. You know, after they ended the first season. 13 episodes total. So they're pretty much uh, working on their specials, um, focusing on them, such as it's Flash Beagle Charlie Brown, which is you know, part of the popularity of Flashdance, you know, the movie from 1983, as well as working on other uh, documentaries like It's Your 20th Birthday Charlie Brown, which aired in 1985, the same year that we got a special that's based on the musical called You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. And we also have a, a New Year's uh, episode, or, or and we also had a New Year's special called Happy New Year, Charlie Brown, which aired in 1986. It's supposed to air in 1985, but they decided to air it on New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah. But nowadays they just air it. Uh, before uh, New Year's Eve, and this will follow. <laughs> and I think it's a shame because um, it really was a good series while it lasted. Um, it could have lasted more than 18 episodes. Maybe, maybe uh, 52 even would have been perfect. But that's the best they could do. I mean, yes, there there are a mixture of good or bad. But that's okay, I mean, again, they're better than <laughs> anything you watch on TV. Uh, the first time I watched the Charlie Bond Snoopy show was actually when we rented it uh, on home video at, at a local video store in Glendale called Full Throttle Video. I, I mentioned this before. Yeah, it's like Blockbuster or any other place. They have tons of VHS tapes and laser discs available to rent. I think they had some of them available to buy, but always yeah, you had to rent them. You can also rent VCRs too. Yeah. If you, if you don't have any. But that was the place where we get to rent movies and that's what we do. We we sign up for it. I was renting all the uh, Charlie Brown specials that I, I wanted to check out and pretty soon I wanted to make copies because yeah, on a VHS tape <laughs> because since I can't find them in stores anywhere, this would be the better option. So yeah, think about it. They were, they were pretty hard to find, and, and at the time, and because they were expensive, they wouldn't be that expensive now because they're cheap. <laughs> Nowadays, you could probably get them in, at local first stores if you could find them. But uh, one of the first episodes. Uh, well, it's not really the first episode, it's actually the second season. 
which it's the episode where Charlie Brown dresses up as a mascot, you know, selling the popcorn, known as the Pelicans. This was uh, Pepper Patty's uh, baseball team. After um, Charlie Brown lost a uh, baseball game with Pepper Patty's team. Yeah, that, that was a pro. Yeah, that, that was when Charlie Brown was handling her team, and she lost, so this was sort of a uh, revenge to her. So, and I remember that one, and, and then it also had uh, another uh, segment with which uh, Pepper Patty and Charlie Brown were going bowling while Linus, Sally, and Snoopy were waiting for the Great Pumpkin, so this was a take on that. Or when Snoopy's brother Spike King was helping to get in shape so they could battle the cat next door. So that's the one I remembered. And then I heard that it was actually on the Disney Channel, but we didn't have cable until um, later in October. I mean, yeah, we had cable before, but all this time uh, when we started moving to all these places, we didn't got our cable back until 1993. And that's when I got to see all these other shows that came along on, on all these cable networks. So I learned that uh, it was on the Disney Channel, but the sad part is, I can't watch it because, well, we don't have a cable converter box, and two, it's all scrambled up. It was, it was a premium channel at the time before it became basic. But by the time it did became basic, it was too late. I didn't get a chance to have to record all the episodes on there. But I did actually start to record um, a few episodes, uh, or at this rate, just, I think, free. Um, when they had a free preview. And I was really lucky because I really wanted to tape them. And that's when I taped just... Uh, Two uh, peanut specials um, that was part of the, the Charlie Brown Snoopy show uh, block that they used, like, which is, um, <laughs> he's your dog, Charlie Brown, and, you know, what a nightmare Charlie Brown come to mind. But then, but then the, the other episodes, um, it was the one where um, they focus on uh, Linus and Lucy, which has all the other shorts. And Lucy versus the world, which has all the other shorts too. So those were the only ones I recorded. Then, and then later, I, and also I, I bought just a few VHS tapes of, that were released by Paramount uh, when I got it at Kmart and Target. So I was because I wanted to get some more, and then I even found some more that was that was part of a bonus. So, and then I also taped some episodes on. On Nickelodeon, as part of the Beyond Nickelodeon show, so. so I didn't get that many. I didn't have the complete series. I wish I had, but nowadays, you know, I always tend to find copies, and I always tend to have random episodes on one of those DVDs I bought at stores. Yeah, most of the ones that Warner Video, that Warner Home Video had released, part of those uh, Happiness, is Peanuts specials. But now I actually have the complete series um, with the with all the episodes, so I get to watch it any time. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, but I I always love watching it. I, I just wish it lasted more. But now I'm I'm not gonna uh, review it um, all separately with all these episodes. I'm just gonna review them all in one video because it's too much work so I'm just going to do my best that I can to get into the first season and second season so it's going to be quick so but it's going to be longer anyway so let, let's see how this happens but um, so I'm going to start um, it stars uh, Brad Kinston as Charlie Brown for the first season Brad Johnson as Charlie Brown from the second season. Stacey Heather Tolkien as Sally Brown and Truffles for a season. Stacey Ferguson, yes, Stacey Ferguson, aka Fergie. <laughs> yeah, she was on the TV series Kids Incorporated, but she went on to become a very popular pop singer. Also uh, went on to do a uh, 
she also uh, had a uh, a trio called uh, Wild Orchid uh, back in the 90s but she also had joined in with the Black Eyed Peas <laughs> yeah but before she went on her own but I always thought she was a um, fascinating singer anyway <laughs> but she did the voice of Sally Brown as well as Patty um, in the second season Angela Lee as Lucy Van Pelt first season Heather Stolman as Lucy Van Pelt second season Jeremy Spodenberg as Lance Van Pelt as well as uh, Floyd first season Jeremy Miller yes Jeremy Miller from from Going Pains as Lance Van Pelt, second season. Kevin Brando as Schroeder, as well as number five, and Five Bolt, yeah, the bully, first season. Danny Colby as Schroeder, second season. Jason Mendelson as Rewind Van Pelt, which apparently he was being credited as Jason Muller on the credits. First and second season. Carl Stevens as Franklin and Pickpan. Yes, second season. Vicar Victoria Vargas as Pepper Patty, first season. Gina Holtzman as Pepper Patty, second season. Michael Dockery as Marcy, first season. Carrie uh, uh, Carrie Holohan as Marcy, second season. Mary uh, Tunnel as Rita and Adora, first season. And Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock, both seasons. <laughs> I know, I just keep going on and on with the cast of who. Um, but of course, Violet, Shermie and Roy, even all the other cameos of, and other characters joining in, non speaking voices. But you get the idea. Um, Created and written by Charles M. Schultz himself. And each episode, they're either directed by Bill Melendez, Phil Woman, and Sam Gimes. We're going to start with Season 1, Episode 1, simply called Snoopy's Cat Fight, which has a shorter segments, Woodstock, Baseball, Sally, Pepper and Patty, Piano, and Blanket. Now, Snoopy actually throws a basketball into Woodstock's nest, which he just built. But he was so angry that he actually drained holes into the basketball and just gave it, throws it back to Snoopy. <laughs> and he was all upset. But then Charlie Brown decided to have a baseball team, hoping they would win, until he, he was impressed by the little redhead girl who was watching at the fields which caused him to go completely nervous that he started shaking himself because his his fingers were so numb for the baseball and he just shakes all the way around that he's he had decided to be taken uh, back home into his bedroom to rest for a little while until he finally gets better until he found out that the game won and then the little red-haired girl suddenly appears and as he gave because Linus actually took his place and just and the little redhead girl just gave him a big hug so I know that sucks Sally was about to give a report at her school even does show and tell but that didn't work out Pepper and Patty and Charlie Brown were were decided to sit on the same desk after Brown's school was being demolished for some reason but she started to annoy Charlie Brown completely causing him to get sent to the principal's office yeah because of her typical habits so now they were given an assignment to write uh, like a thousand sentences uh, on a piece of paper called I would not create a disturbance in class a hundred times yeah just like writing standards um, which this was a segment that's very similar to what we saw in the movie Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. You know, remember when they went to um, a school in 
in France and yes this was the same situation yeah, Pepper Patty's you know no offense though because I, I know you know she's a tomboy and everything and she's cool but God, you know, she never pays attention. She's always falling asleep in class. Of course, no wonder she keeps getting all these D minuses and everything. But the fact that she's aggravating Charlie Brown, yeah, I don't blame Charlie Brown for getting mad. That was that was so unlike her. Now Schroeder, uh, you know, who's always playing the Beethoven, you know, just practicing his piano. Is always always having to deal with Lucy when whenever he comes around, whenever she comes around. But he's totally not happy because Lucy just continues to criticize Beethoven and his music. Yeah. Linus, on the other hand, loans his blanket to Adora, Sally's friend, who then later gives uh, the blanket to the cat next door. So now, yeah, Linus has to help. Uh, Linus has a join with Snoopy trying to get the blanket out of there that led to a cat fight. Yeah, you know, just when he was riding on to the helicopter. Yeah, of course Snoopy has the helicopter with Woodstock joining in as the pilot. <laughs> uh, I, I remember that one. Now we got to episode two, Snoopy's uh, team manager, which includes the shorts, shoveling, rerun. Lost Blanket and the manager. It was only uh, four segments. So uh, Linus and Lucy were trying to help Lucy plant her garden. Yep, and it turns out to be flinch fries. Uh, they tried to work so hard, but they keep getting tired that Lucy decided to bring in the shovel and pick them up. <laughs> Rewind suddenly sings and besides poetry, while he rides on the back of his mom's bike because every time you know mom just rides in <laughs> she gets into bigger trouble like she's trying to to learn how to ride a bike while she's with uh, Rerun and then Rerun just continues to comment talking to himself. Linus's grandmother suddenly came so Linus had to mail his blanket to himself but does not return which led to bigger trouble yeah, because Lucy, as usual, try, tries to find better ways to get rid of Linus's blanket. Because she really hates him for actually continuing to go on with it. So, this was part of her trick. <laughs> but that also led to trouble, because I know Snoopy sometimes helps and tries to get a black. Um, the... Now, and then Snoopy suddenly becomes the new manager of Charlie Brown's baseball team, so this is where he takes over. <laughs> well, that just goes for a rough start. Episode 3, Linus and Lucy, with the shorts, Sally and Snoopy, football, beads, love, snowball, kite flying, Linus and Lucy, and baseball. Sally does a report on Snoopy, which eventually she got a good grade. So they, they went for a treat to have some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, but he gets the, <laughs> gets the big one. Yeah, hoping that this would be really cool for the show and tell, because that way he'll get to talk more about who Snoopy is. Because, yes, th this is when Snoopy suddenly gets... Um, make fun of from all the kids uh, at her school and that's when <laughs> she, that's when they keep calling him a moose and or chicken they made fun of him and then he starts to beat the shit out of <laughs> out of the kids <laughs> yeah that was funny um, Linus of course teaches Sally how to kick the football but Apparently runs out of air, and then, and then Lucy suddenly taunts Charlie Brown to kick the football. Yeah, what else? She's gonna pull it away as usual. Lucy suddenly makes love beads for Schroeder, but 
Schroeder doesn't even like Lucy, so it gives. So Lucy gives the love beads to Snoopy. Because <laughs> obviously Lucy doesn't understand. Which also led to another segment. Lucy doesn't understand if Schroeder may like her. Because, well, love drives her crazy. Schroeder and Charlie Brown, on the other hand, decided to throw snowballs at Linus's head. But this is where he takes his blanket and starts to throw each snowball at them. <laughs> they caught them. And of course, uh, Lucy started to make snow bunnies and, you know, just having fun playing in the snow. Charlie Brown is tr tries so hard to fly a kite. But every time he tries, he always fails. No matter what he does, he try to go. He's trying to uh, keep the kite to go up in the air, and it just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing. So he's very unsuccessful for that. But I guess Charlie Brown tries to find a better way to get good at it, and that's that is flying airplanes, <laughs> paper planes, and then. They all keep crashing. <laughs> the paper pad was trying to show them that, but that just <laughs> didn't work out. And we know that particular line that uh, Linus and Lucy had said, of all the Charlie Browns in the world, you're the Charlie, you're the Charlie Brownies. I know, I, I keep screwing up. It's, I hate it when I stutter. Linus... Lucy uh, tries to take Snoopy and, and Linus' uh, slivers out. Yeah, they had slivers on their fingers. But they were afraid because it's going to hurt really bad. And then Linus uh, suddenly uh, shows her, comp her compliments before she gives him a piece of toast. And it leads to other situations uh, between Linus and Lucy. What was going on? Then Lucy thinks she could see the ocean by hitting a home run. But when he was told by Schroeder that he will kiss her if he ever makes it, which, of course, this segment alone was also used in its Arbor Day Charlie Brown. Yeah, we I already reviewed that a long time ago, and we all know how that turned out. <laughs> um. But yeah, it was it was more of um, you know Charlie Brown's baseball team. Episode four, Lucy vs. the World, which features the shorts, draws Lucy's baseball, along with Pepper Patty, Daisy Hill Puppy Cup, and Linus and Lucy. Charlie Brown and Lucy are drinking lemonade with their straws, but then Charlie Brown suddenly got started making all these strange faces, make becoming very sickening when Lucy doesn't realize that Snoopy had sip on her straw of lemonade. <laughs> and then Lucy's actually drinking it, so that means that yes, she actually had dog germs on her straw. <laughs> but Lucy suddenly became disgusted with all the faces that Charlie Brown's making. So that's why. Then Charlie Brown has gone fed up with Lucy's incompetence towards the baseball team that he decided to kick her off. Which is true because Lucy is actually the worst of his baseball team. I mean, she was the problem. Which, we had a another special called Lucy Must Be Traded, Charlie Brown, because that's why, you know, Lucy sucks as, at baseball. She's just too busy just going around you know, trolling and you know, and shouting and screaming and yelling and all of that. She's not very good either. Plus, she can't even catch the ball sometimes. That's how bad she is. So anyway, Lucy suddenly bad mouths the team through a school paper and resorts to complain about the sidelines completely. So again, Charlie Brown just couldn't. Uh, Hire uh, Lucy for that. 
Pepper Patty suddenly stays at Charlie Brown's house while her dad's out of town, you know, just busy on other things. But the problem was, she decided to stay over at Snoopy's dog house, thinking that it was a guest cottage. <laughs> that was messed up. Snoopy suddenly finds himself in the running of a prestigious prize from the Daisy Hill uh, puppy farm. So, as he forces the rest of the neighborhood to actually nominate him, but sadly he didn't win. Lucy Froze uh, lines out of the house, only to discover that their mom had a baby. Yep, uh, she was pregnant, so she had to stay at the hospital for a while. And they found out that now they have a new brother, and that turned out to be Rerun. Yeah, and Lucy was such a jerk, man. Just treating uh, Linus like crap, just by kicking him out, out of the house, and just because, oh yeah, he broke uh, one of her crayons when, you know, coloring on the coloring book. Yeah. Or the fact that, you know, Linus is petting all the birds, which. <laughs> Thank goodness uh, all the birds started to uh, started to f uh, perform raspberries on her, or any other, or or even having to uh, bring out uh, all the logs, you know, f you know, for the fireplace. And this is where she starts making fun of him, saying that there's a spider on the log. Yeah, which was also did that with uh, <laughs> it was a short summer, Charlie Brown. But this time it's Lucy that's doing. It. Episode 5, uh, Linus Security Blanket, which has, features the shorts, Snoopy and Woodstock, Sally, Piano, Baseball, Sunsets, Football, Security Blanket, Kite, Woodstock, and Clinging Snoopy. There we go. Snoopy thinks that the cat in the store had attacked Woodstock, so he tries to go out and save him, because Linus was telling him about that, but it turns out that it was a yellow glove. So now Snoopy is already filled with um, all these scars and cat hair around so now they decided to take him to the vet to get him a, a shot hoping that he'll feel better. So Linus goes over to apologize only to be scratched up by the, the cat in its door. Yeah, it was a giant. Well, we already know that. Then Sally tries to tell jokes uh, right in front of her class, which got her into trouble. Lucy once again bought her Schroeder as usual. You know, Charlie Brown refused to call the baseball game on the count of rain, which his pitcher's mound suddenly <laughs> floats. So it's almost like there's a flood or something going around. So it. So it has a waveform going straight into <laughs> a local street. So it started to keep on moving. <laughs> I love that part. So then uh, Lucy uh, psychoanalyzed Charlie Brown's personality that's based on sunrise and sunsets and all this thing that was going around. Mm, nothing much to say. Lucy suddenly taunts Charlie Brown by kicking the football, pretending that <laughs> she's falling asleep. Yes, because that's when Charlie Brown decided to do something to get his revenge on, by actually waiting until midnight. <laughs> so he'll get his chance. But of course, because again, you know, Lucy always continues to pull away the football from Charlie Brown. So what else? So Linus gives Snoopy his blanket uh, in hopes that he'll break the habit, you know, kick the habit, just like you know, <laughs> like you kick the habit from smoking. But apparently Snoopy decided to make two sport coats for him and, and Woodstock, which caused him to get so mad <laughs> that yep, yeah, this is what happens. Charlie Brown suddenly gets tangled with a kite string and was hung upside down from a tree which could also be used in the segment for a Charlie Brown celebration 
which, speaking of which, both a Charlie Brown ce celebration as well as um, it's an adventure Charlie Brown actually was based on that. Because that's how it became segments, too. <laughs> yeah, and, and we, I, I get to talk about those uh, pretty soon, too. But I, I love to reveal Charlie Brown's celebration, and it's an adventure Charlie Brown. So. Speaking of which, uh, they also ha showed the segment where Snoopy and Woodstock were trying to catch an afternoon nap, as it seems. And that's often repeated, too. Snoopy, however, begins clinging to everyone who believes that dogs have made it the world a better place. But Charlie Brown gets saddled uh, with Snoopy, and then Lucy helps him with Charlie Brown, then concludes that girls have made the world a better place. So then Lucy suddenly clings into Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's where you know Charlie Brown suddenly gets... Uh, stuck with Snoopy, so Snoopy is like squeezing him and he's like he wouldn't let go. But yes, Lucy had to help him out to by actually reading a report that this could damage him. <laughs> so it, it's really funny and kind of messed up. Because I, I remember this is where Charlie Brown tries to give it to uh, Schroeder hoping that you know he'd be free. <laughs> like he just had to say the important thing about it, that they're better in the world, and then he says, FREE! And then Schroeder does the same thing, and then he said, FREE! <laughs> Episode 6, Snoopy's Man's Best Friend, which includes the shorts, Kiss, Pepper and Patty, Charlie Brown, Loss, and Snoopy. Yeah, Snoopy tries to kiss Lucy because she was feeling very sad. Then Snoopy had to stay over with Pepper and Patty, but just couldn't get off of the water bed, you know, with Marcy. Yes, because they had trouble. <laughs> just like in, in the movie um, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, when Snoopy was trying to give uh, Pepper and Patty a kiss, only to discover that it was a water bed, so that's why they have trouble. <laughs> um, Charlie Brown suddenly tells a story to Linus. Um, about when Snoopy took Woodstock and the Beagle Scout to camp. That was a nice story. And then Snoopy blows uh, Linus into Patty's uh, swimming pool after he reads The Free Little Pigs and pretends that he's a World War I flying ace. But Charlie Brown became so angry with Snoopy and Sally. But then Charlie Brown became, which is kind of similar to He's Your Dog Charlie Brown, remember that? Meanwhile, Charlie Brown was being angry with both Snoopy and Sally that they actually created a new model called Speak Softly and Carry a Beagle, which eventually changed it to Speak Loudly and Carry a Beagle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was that particular segment. Episode 7, Snoopy the Psychiatrist. This is going to be a good one. Which features shorts, Charlie Brown and Lucy, Kite, The Dance, and Fight Bolt. Charlie Brown was given a good advice to Lucy, which apparently we had a new psychiatrist to replace, and that turned out to be Snoopy, because Lucy decided to take a break. Then Charlie Brown had lost his hat and his kite that, that went straight into pieces like a balloon. <laughs> yeah, because once again, Charlie Brown's just flying his kite. Pepper Batty suddenly invites Snoopy to a school dance. You know, they were having fun. I mean, even Pepper Patty suddenly knocks down the kid, you know, because they're making fun of him during the dance. So. They have fun. And then suddenly Pepper and Patty had hired a kid named Five Bolt, who turns out to be a jerk, a complete jerk, on her baseball team, but just suddenly refused to return Charlie Brown's his baseball glove, and angrily rejects uh, the notion that girls shouldn't play baseball. 
which led to an insult to Marcy. Yes, this is when Marcy suddenly punched him right into the chomps. If he says one word. And she did. <laughs> he, <laughs> he hits him. Thank God, man, because, God, I, Fiboy was such an asshole. Could have been worse. Episode 8, uh, you can't win, Charlie Brown. Yeah, no kidding. Shorts, which includes shaking, spaghetti, football, baseball, toast, snow sculpture, sit, school, kite, the blanket, and Sally. Wow, a lot of segments. Yeah, this really had a lot. So, Snoopy demonstrates the shaky method that, of training puppies, which this is where Charlie Brown explains to Linus about that, that, that they doubt that a puppy can learn anything from being shaken. And this is where <laughs> Snoopy suddenly shakes him. Well, they did actually, uh, it was actually part of Charlie Brown's Cleans the Air uh, segment, I think. Um, anyway, Woodstock also comments on Snoopy's dinner by discussing worms while eating spaghetti that uh, Charlie Brown had fed him. Sally suddenly learns the, the danger of throwing a football into Woodstock's nest, which then Woodstock throws it back at her and just hits her. <laughs> yeah, because Sally was trying to practice kicking the football with, with Linus helping around. It's kind of similar to an episode called Teaching, which we'll get to. Then Charlie Brown and his friends win the first game of the season, all thanks to We Run. So, really cool. Only to discover that We Run was gambling the team, and who bet them, which led to the sequence. So that's why the whole uh, point of them winning was, was by forfeit. <laughs> now Linus only offers a burnt toast to Woodstock, but yeah, <laughs> I guess we're not going to talk about that one. Uh, Linus and Lucy suddenly make snow sculptures, hoping they will do the best they can. Charlie Brown tries to teach Snoopy how to sit and heal, but that led to <laughs> uh, the bet I led to other situations because, well, you know how Snoopy is. <laughs> Because he has his own personality. Um, does it awkward? Um, the school is actually. We then find out that Pepper and Patty's um, school actually. We then find out that the Birchwood school ceiling had spun a leak uh, due to the rain that was happening, and it was leaking over Pepper and Patty's desk. So that was a problem. <laughs> so then now they. She had to put in a bowl on her head, hoping that this will stop. But then when the rain stopped, <laughs> yes, he put the bowl on on Marcy. <laughs> um, Lucy suddenly helps Charlie Brown how to fry his kites, and Charlie Brown ends up making the kite get caught onto Snoopy's doghouse. Yeah, we know that. See, which joins in with. Uh, Linus and Lucy. That's really messed up. Linus has, had tried his best to live without his blanket for two weeks, which Lucy suddenly locks uh, the blanket into the closet, but just couldn't suffer any longer. And then Sally suddenly tells the wrong answer in class, you know, with math and all those other uh, subjects. Episode 9, The Lost Bull Park, with shorts, crawl, Marcy, truffles, and the lost bull field. Lucy tries to help Charlie Brown uh, try to walk properly, but, well, <laughs> I probably won't say that much. Pepper and Patty and Marcy go to the summer camp, while Marcy fends the advancement of Lovestruck with a boy named Floyd who keeps calling her Lamb Cake. <laughs> yeah. 
Snoopy and Linus decided to go truffle hunting, and they actually found a little girl named Truffles, but sooner or later, Linus and, and Snoopy began quarreling over who loves her more. Yeah. Then Charlie Brown suddenly felt very shocked that he found out that he cannot play on the vacant lot for their ball games. Yes, because um, there was a, uh, I think there was a baseball player who, who retired and so I had to manage it. So now they they decided to uh, they decided to, to uh, close down. They decided not to allow kids play on the baseball field and. So that led to trouble. Yeah. Also to note that, yes, this was the, the first episode that introduced us to Snoopy's brother, Spike. Yeah, so we got to see him. And later on, he got to do another uh, special that came out in 1985. Yeah, which was another one I forgot to mention. Snoopy's getting married, Charlie Brown. Yeah. So, uh, episode 10... Snoopy's football career, which features the shorts, gold stars, blanket, piano, and teaching. Yes, this is the one I'm going to talk about. And this was actually um, one of my favorite episodes, too. So. Now I'm going to get to episode 10. This is my favorite one, too. Called Snoopy's football career, which features shorts, only four, gold stars, blanket, piano, and teaching. Pepper and Patty certainly feel very miserable because she has not received a gold star on her test because it seems like every classmate has one whenever they do so well. But then her teacher accuses Pepper and Patty to actually steal all the gold stars, so she decided to disguise herself as a custodian, a janitor, same thing. While Snoopy, wearing Pepper and Patty's wig, disguising himself as Pepper Patty, so that way he'll be able to earn it by taking a test. But Marcy's beginning to not notice, begin to notice uh, what she really is, because it's really Snoopy, of course. So, in the end, Snoopy got his, a gold star, so Patty got his. Meanwhile, Linus has to deal with Snoopy's um, stealing his blanket and this is where he makes fun of him by telling that that the sun is is roasting him so <laughs> so he got his blanket back Lucy suddenly got grows very tired of Schroeder ignoring her all the time just when when the Schroeder is practicing his piano so that's when Lucy just keeps kicking the piano and then later threw it straight out, out of the dreaded kiting tree. Yes, the same kiting tree that eats uh, kites from innocent little kids, including Charlie Brown. Yeah, because he's always having trouble with kites. So Snoopy tries to come to the rescue to stop it, but sadly it was too late. So now Schroeder had to order a new uh, piano, which comes with uh, a baseball card which actually comes with a picture of of Joe Grosiola. Yeah. So yeah, he finally got a new uh, piano. Which yes, Lucy continues by actually putting a lemonade on top of the piano and just <laughs> just froze it out. Yeah, and she just fell. Of course, Lu Snoopy's always. Um, dancing around on top of his piano as usual. With all these claw marks. <laughs> yeah, Lucy was a jerk, as usual. But, she got more than she bargained for. Then, uh, Linus, Sally, Snoopy, and Woodstock, along with Pepper and Patty and, and Marcy, were teaching how to play football as it continues to go on. Even Lucy uh, joins in too with, with Charlie Brown, which once again pulling the football away. Not again! Again, Charlie Brown. And again, and again, and again. 
So, that leads to episode 11, Chaos in the Classroom, which has shorts, Sally at School, Football, School Patrol, Blanket, and the Team. Sally suddenly takes Woodstock's nest for show and tell, but breaks a kid's ruler when a truck runs over it. Yeah, disaster. Sally tries to kick a football, and Charlie Brown makes a little landing after Lucy pulls the football away, as usual. And Marcy suddenly plays football together, so it's kind of like teaching. Uh, and speaking of teaching, um, yes, this was when when Charlie Brown and Snoopy uh, were were teaching how to you know, play football too. They actually used stickum <laughs> to actually hold the the ball, but you know they had trouble with that. Um, anyway. Pepper Patty suddenly gets mad at Marcy when she becomes a traffic paroler and you know, we all get the school patrol. Well, I'm not explain that. Linus' blanket suddenly attacks Lucy. Yes, this is where Linus' blanket comes alive and it was voiced by <laughs> Bill Melendez as he moves and everything. Which I find it funny though too because they they were going to use this in its adventure Charlie Brown part of that but I guess they decided to go there for this one and yes it was actually voiced by Rocky Welly so now I can see why line sounds very different um, Lucy Snoopy's dish was used for the second base for Charlie Brown's baseball team as Charlie Brown tries to teach Lucy how to bat, and Linus was out of the game. Yeah, <laughs> we all know that happened. Because I know when Lucy tries to bat, uh, yes, she loses it. Episode 12, it's that team spirit, Charlie Brown, which leads to shorts, Bolcher, Blanket, Pepper and Patty, Rerun, and Rainy Day. Snoopy pretends that he's a Bolcher. So he started to leap from trees, so he'll be able to attack, but <laughs> he misses. Snoopy begins to steal Linus's blanket, and then Linus suddenly steals Snoopy's supper dish. But before they each return each other with respective prize possessions. Yeah, so Linus uh, was trying to tell Sally that he'd rather you know, suck his thumb on a blanket rather than falling in love with her. <laughs> yes, and that's what led to, to that fight with uh, Lucy joining in. And then <laughs> Snoopy has a World War One flying ace decided to, to attack all of them. So he's, he's, he yells, charge! But Charlie Brown doesn't know what's going on. Rerun, on the other hand, just absorbs the entire world while riding on the back of, of his mother's bike. And then Charlie Brown continues to play baseball. Yeah, with Lucy, you know, getting all the commands, and then afterwards, it starts to rain. Finally, episode 13, Lucy Loves Schroeder, which features shorts, Kite Eating Tree, Sally, Camp, Lucy Loves Schroeder, and Scared Snoopy. This is where Charlie Brown goes to Lucy's psychiatric booth for advice, which he always does, which... This is where he, he talks about how he was fighting against the kiting tree, where he actually took a bite <laughs> out of the stem. Snoopy later pretends to be the World War One flying ace, and actually steals uh, Sally's term paper. Yeah. So then now, when the, um, Snoopy actually ate the, the term paper, he decided to give a report. Then Charlie Brown was being sent home from camp after being a troublemaker while Pepper and Patty tells Linus that how she cried when she saw the little redhead girl, you know, so much that that's exactly how she felt. But Linus cheers uh, her up by giving her a kiss. Lucy suddenly breaks up with Schroeder, yep, but then washes his toy piano by putting in into the washer and dryer and became very small. 
tiny. And then after hearing noises at night, Snoopy is being terrified to sleep outdoors and is able to pay his counselor bill. So Charlie Brown has to complete the task. Yeah, through Lucy. Yeah, <laughs> that's season one. Now we're going to get to season two. Yeah, I'm sorry this video is going to be extremely long, but hey, it's the first. I mean, I actually had done longer videos before, so hey, no big deal. And it's only five episodes in that season, so I think we're going to keep on going. So it starts with Snoopy and the Giants, which features shorts, only three episodes as a segment, Snoopy's Foot, the Giant, and Rerun. This is where um, Snoopy ends up breaking his foot and has to wear a cast because he got too excited that you know, he was sleeping at night uh, on his doghouse, but then he got totally hungry, so he wanted to have a midnight snack. So all that excitement really uh, caused him to break his leg. It makes matters worse because Pepper and Patty wanted Snoopy to play on their baseball team during the next game. But he eventually broke in another foot. So now he has another cast. Because he only missed um, <clears throat> two bat strings until he finally uh, made it home. So that's what led to it. So. Pepper Patty should listen more. You know, this, this is what happens. E even she wanted to hire Marcy to play on her team too. And, and, and even Marcy knows that she's, no very, she's not very good at it. Woodstock uh, suddenly had farming skills, which causes uh, a beanstalk to sprout all the way up on top of the sky. Yet yeah, this is a take on Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> so, yes, this is where Woodstock was doing her gardening tools to try to grow a beanstalk. And, yeah, I remember the, the scene where, <laughs> where he actually offered Snoopy to be dressed up as a scarecrow. <laughs> And all the birds said they appeared, and, and Snoopy just got all mad. So then they, so then both Woodstock and Snoopy encounters a, a cookie hoarding giant. Yes, and that's when the giant suddenly chases both uh, Snoopy and Woodstock all the way. They tied them up. They went all the way down, and they they actually uh, uses a chainsaw. Yes, Snoopy uses a chainsaw to cut down the beanstalk. So he won't appear again. And then Woodstock uh, suddenly uh, drives his tractor, but then <laughs> Snoopy just takes the key away from him. So yeah, so that way he can continue to go to sleep. Then um, Rerun um, has to deal with an odd jack in the box, which happens to be Woodstock, and then later Snoopy. As usual, his mother's biking skills. And actually has a crush on Brenda Johnson, who actually looks like Sally, but keeps changing her name a lot. So Rerun just keeps bumping to each other uh, through a market and a beauty salon, and that's how it happened. Of course, Rerun does absorb the world while he's riding on the back of the mother's bike. Yeah, more mother bike skills. Episode 2, Snoopy's brother Spike which includes the shorts, the pelican, the great pumpkin, and Spike. Yeah, this is where we're going to get to, as I talked about it, where Pepper and Patty recruits Charlie Brown to sell popcorn by, by dressing up as a mascot called the pelican for her baseball team after Charlie Brown suddenly actually failed uh, her team because they lost uh, the game. Yeah, Pepper and Patty was being rough. So then Linus, Sally, and Snoopy were waiting for the great pumpkin to arrive while Pepper and Patty and Charlie Brown decided to go out bowling. And then Snoopy's brother Spike just comes for a visit to get in shape just to battle the cat next door. <laughs> there you go. Episode 3, Snoopy's Robot, which features shorts, Snoopy's Robots. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Linus and the Blanket and Friends. So this is where the, the Peanuts game decided to go to a computer camp 
and so they get to play all these games. This is where uh, where Line decided to create a computer game where Snoopy and Wussuck decide to counter a giant. So they're trying to the, the, so they're trying to to get to all these obstacles uh, in the caves in order for them to win. But watch out for the giants, because they're going to attack you. And that turned out to be Lucy. <laughs> and when Lucy suddenly found out about that, that's when she punches <laughs> Linus in the face. Well, you don't see it, but it just pretends. And this is where Linus says, This computer games can sometimes be dangerous. <laughs> Linus suddenly tries to take the Lucy's advice by giving up his blanket. Yes, we all know how that happens. I mean... And then we also find out that that Snoopy had a letter from Spike hoping that he'll come over by actually going straight to Needles, California to find him, but that didn't work out. To make because he also take out uh, Linus's blanket. Well, yeah, Lucy actually gave it his blanket. And that's when he was like laying down at the cactus and it was suddenly he mailed the, the blanket that's filled with cactus stickers. <laughs> and then we got Pepper and Patty and Marcy having to make friends with Charlie Brown, so hoping they might fall in love. They decided to go out, but that didn't turn out very well as it seems. Like, you know, they were going out to see a movie, and, and well, yeah, they just couldn't stand it. Um, well, we'll also let to other things too. Episode 4, Pepper and Patty's School Days, which features shorts, School Days, Snoopy's Trick, and Snoopy's Flight. This is where Pepper and Patty and Marcy had to deal with a day-to-day -day issue by attending puppy school. Yeah. <laughs> then Snoopy's surprise with Linus with his Cheshire Beagle disappearing trick, yeah, like Cheshire the Cat. From Alice in Wonderland and Alice with the Looking Glass. But at this rate, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, and this is where um, his tricks suddenly get stuck until Linus, until Lucy came along to to actually fix it by by patting his hat like like they're hitting the TV set. <laughs> when uh, Charlie Brown had took him to a psychiatric hill, which is only seven cents. And then Snoopy suddenly pilots his doghouse to help Schroeder get to a summer music camp. Yeah. Which is on the way. <laughs> and then finally, episode 18, Sally Sweet Babu, which features shorts to play Sweet Babu Snoopy's story. This is uh, very similar to It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown, that followed. But this actually went pretty well for this. This is where. Charlie Brown writes an essay on the previous Christmas where the entire gang decided to take a part on a Christmas play. Which, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, did, it did go okay, but otherwise, you know, it wasn't perfect. Um, so that's what, what they remember. And then next, uh, the PNC gang had to deal with Valentine's Day, which included. Which, you know, the usual stuff. Trying to um, require love and all that. And then finally, Pepper and Patty writes a school essay about Snoopy's many exploits. And that was the last episode, sadly. Yeah, it pretty ended, it actually ended pretty well, too. I mean, by the, by the end of that uh, episode, I mean, this is where we get to see various um, characteristics of Snoopy. Now, how he becomes. So. Yeah. Um, gotta admit, I kind of cried too because I felt like there should have been more. <laughs> also, to note that uh, in the second season, that's where they started to use uh, a different change with their theme song because they actually used all the segments from its Flash Beagle Charlie Brown to make a mix with it. And actually had a Desiree Goyer or Goyet, um, sing the, the theme song to it, which I thought it worked pretty well. Um, 
But sadly, I, I wish it only lasted more than five episodes. You know? So they had to end it that way. Um, but it's really, it, it was also part of the album, too. Um, Flash Beagle. A very good album that's, of course, based on the special. <laughs> so, the, so the lyrics was called, Let's Have a Party with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Because in the first season, though, they just show just uh, random segments from the comic strip. And that's where they have just, uh, just the, the theme song that's almost basically Let's Have a Party with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. That's, so it's more like an instrumental uh, theme that they put into it. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah. Um... I would say there there are several favorites that I love, and then there are a few I don't like, but that's okay. Um, I'm not going to explain fully on that one, but I probably explained it already as much as I could. Again, it's not easy. But I gotta say, um, for its particular run, I really enjoy it, and I just wish uh, they had continued for more seasons, but I know that that couldn't happen because CBS just didn't know how to handle it very well with their schedule conflicts here and the fact that you know they're not doing so well with the ratings uh, as opposed to all their other shows that they play during their Saturday morning block you know like Dungeons and Dragons and I think Pac-Man and all these other shows they were playing at the time yeah I wasn't born when the show came out by the way just so you know I was born in 1985, that's when the second season came along, so, but at that point on, I didn't even know about it until later, so, <laughs> so yeah, that was a long wait, but of course, I already know, uh, you know, the Peanuts game was already used uh, as a theme attraction, part of Camp Snoopy from Knott's Berry Farm, so, I've seen a lot of Knott's Berry Farm commercials a lot. And I also saw all these MetLife commercials too, the insurance company, because they've done a lot of their commercials, a series of them. Uh, that they actually started, uh, I think, I think it was 1984 or maybe 85 when they first started. So, <laughs> what do you know? So I mostly saw those before I ended up seeing all the other specials. So. But I did saw uh, a Charlie Brown's Christmas uh, in the late 80s, and it continues to go on as it seems. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you can get the Charlie Brown Snoopy show on DVD um, through uh, Warner Archive Collection. You can also get it on Amazon and eBay. Yeah, they, they're, they're going for good prices. So so they're still in print. I do wish they were released in retail, though, because I think it would have been so much better. Yeah, not to mention they would have been pressed. So instead of just the usual DVD-Rs or I think maybe they are pressed, I just wasn't so sure and they do have it overseas too at some place, I think Australia and Germany had them too So, but of course you can also find them on VHS and Laserdisc so. but they're pretty hard to find unless you have to find them in rare, rare items or you can just um, find them on Amazon so take your pick <laughs> like on iTunes so. because it's a great show I, I love it I mean it's always good that even when they re-ran it on TV along with the rest of the specials it's always worth uh, watching it anytime so it's almost looking like it's part of it <laughs> so, there you go. so that's the Charlie Brown and Snoopy shows and I give it five stars